today. Uh, that was Stephanie Henry on the piano. A little bit of a round of applause there. Uh, I'm Lucy Winter, as really all of you know, because I know all of you. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate you being here, especially on such short notice. Uh, this was, as Joshua mentioned, originally a virtual event until it wasn't. So uh, <laughs> thanks for making the time to show up and, and be with us in person. It really is much more fun than just kind of singing to an empty church. So uh, this uh, last couple of springs have been kind of weird, <laughs> as we all have experienced together. You know, typically spring is all about uh, hope and renewal and even sometimes romance. Mm -hmm. But these, these last few springs have really kind of felt like they were just passing us by and we couldn't really do all the springtime things that we love. Um, so this next song that we're doing has been in my brain a lot through this time. It's uh, by, uh, the words are by American poet uh, Fran Landisman. Uh, she was inspired to become a lyricist when she was hanging out at her husband's bar and nightclub in St. Louis, the Crystal Palace. Um, and there she met composer Tommy Wolfe. And uh, I like to think the two of them working on this piece together, I can't get it out. See, I'm not usually a nightclub singer. I have to work on my <laughs> mic skills. <laughs> but I like to think of the two of them hanging out in the nightclub at the bar, working on this song together, maybe over a, a scotch or two or maybe three. Two. Two. Two's the limit. Yeah. All right. This is spring can really hang you up the most. <laughs> Once I was a sentimental thing Threw my heart away each spring Now a spring romance Hasn't got a chance Promised my last dance To winter All I've got to show to go. 
for indulging our, our springtime malaise. And Robert, you got here for the best line about the sulfur and molasses, so nice job. <laughs> well, spring was weird, uh, but uh, better days are ahead soon, we hope, because today is the first day of
Every soprano's got to sing that sometime, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this next piece uh, is really kind of the reason for this whole thing. It's been uh, in my world since the 90s when uh, my very dear friend, Kurt Fulton, who I got to see last week in New York, so exciting, hadn't seen him for a long time, uh, he asked me and a mutual friend of ours who was a pianist, James Hirsch, to play this at his art opening. And uh, we worked our butts off on this piece. It's quite a thing. Uh, and we got to play it once in the early 90s, and then he reminded me again, we did it in uh, like 99. So a uh, really special piece to me for me. Um, it is by Samuel Barber, and it was uh, composed for a full orchestra. Oh, by the way, I meant to mention the text is on the back, so if you want to follow along. Um, uh, not what I'm saying of the poem. Uh, but <laughs> it was composed by Samuel Barber. It was composed for full orchestra, and he did the piano reduction as well, but he seemed uh, kind of loath to drop any of the <laughs> instrument lines. And so this is a really challenging piece for a pianist. Um, Stephanie is not only playing every instrument in the orchestra, but the sounds of the street, the bugs in the air, and, and sometimes even the air itself. So I was really grateful that she was willing to do this piece with me. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, the text, which I mentioned is on the back of your program, is by James Agee. Uh, he is an American, another American poet, uh, journalist, and writer. And he's probably most well known for the collaboration he, that he did with the photographer Walker Evans. They went and documented uh, all of the, the tenant farmers in the South during the Depression. Um, and it, the book was Let Us Now Praise Famous Men. It's, it's really gorgeous. Uh, so this is for me, the perfect piece for today because not only does it capture that summertime feeling, those languid summer evenings, especially in this part of the world, um, but it's also really about fathers. Um, and so happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, James Agee said he had his father very much in mind when he was writing the poem and then included it in a book called Death in the Family later. Uh, and Samuel Barber's father was really ill while he was writing the music. So um, it has a, a bit of a, not just this happy, nostalgic summertime thing, but a bit of an ache to it as well. And uh, I hope you will enjoy listening to it as much as we enjoyed putting it together. So this is Samuel Barber's Knoxville, summer of 1915. We are now talking of summer evenings in Knoxville, Tennessee, in the time that I lived there so successfully disguised to myself as a child. Thank you. 
Right. 